service of process. This is real important and you've got to get it done right. Process means that when a lawsuit is filed, the defendant or the respondent has the absolute right to be told about it in time to go to court and tell the judge his or her side of the story before the judge makes a decision. This is a basic right guaranteed by the United States Constitution. Sometimes it is referred to as due process. When a lawsuit is filed and served, if the defendant or respondent ignores it and does nothing, the person who started the lawsuit gets what she or he asked for in the complaint or the petition. This is called a default. But before the court will make those orders, the court has to have proof that the defendant or respondent was given due process, meaning that she or he was properly served with the petition or complaint and the related papers so that she or he can file a reply. If the respondent or the defendant ignores the case and does not timely file any responsive papers, you can get a default. After you get a default, you can have a hearing or submit paperwork, depending on your type of case, for the judge to sign giving you the orders you asked for. Before the judge will grant your orders, the judge will very carefully check to be sure that the respondent defendant received due process by being given a copy of all of the paperwork. What the judge is looking for is a document called a proof of service. This is the document that is completed by the person who does the serving and then is filed with the court. The person who actually serves the process must be over the age of 18 and cannot be a party to the action. Now that means you cannot serve your own papers. You can have a friend or a co-worker or a neighbor or a professional process server do it for you. In some cases, you can have the sheriff serve your papers for you. The professional process server and sometimes the sheriff will charge you a fee, but they know what they are doing and will complete your paperwork properly. There are two basic types of service. Actually, there are more, but for purposes of this segment, I'll only talk about the most common ones. Personal service and service by mail. When you start your lawsuit, your summons and petition or complaint must be personally served on the respondent or defendant. After your lawsuit has been started and everyone has responded, service can be by mail. Personal service means that your server goes to the respondent or defendant's home or job site and actually personally hands the papers to the respondent or the defendant. Sometimes the process server will have to try several times and sometimes he or she will have to wait for the person to arrive or leave the home or job. If a person who is being served refuses to touch the papers, for example, they open the front door but not the screen door, and the process server can see that the person matches the description that you gave, or the person admits that he is the named person, the process server can stick the papers in the screen or drop them on the porch and tell the person that he's been served and that's valid service. And the process server then needs to describe what occurred on the proof of service. If the respondent or defendant has filed a response or answer, then future papers can be served by mail. Here, you prepare the paperwork and the envelope and make sure that it is properly addressed and has enough stamps on it. Then, you give it to the process server and ask him or her to verify the contents, seal the envelope, put it in the mailbox, and complete the proof of service. Personal service is complete when the papers are handed over. Service by mail is complete five days after the papers are mailed. For further details on service, you can read the Code of Civil Procedure sections 413 through 417. The proof of service is what tells the judge that the service was properly done, so it is very, very important that you correctly fill it out. If your proof of service is complete and accurate and the respondent ignored the case, you can get your default and an order for what you asked for. 
if your proof of service is not complete, you've got to either get it fixed, if that's possible, or start over. For example, if your case is a family law case, there is a proof of service of summons, FL-115, which is what you use for service of the petition and summons. Later, when other papers need to be served, you can find a proof of personal service, which is FL-330, or proof of service by mail, FL-335. These documents also have some directions that you might find helpful to read. Some other subjects, such as domestic violence and civil harassment, have their own proof of service forms. But if the case you are doing does not have its own proof of service form, use one of these and fix the caption to match your case. These forms have some of the necessary language that you might leave out if you try to draft one from scratch. So, if you do not have your proof of service correctly, or if you lie and fill it out with false information, the defendant or respondent can probably get the whole case set aside and you'll have to start it all over again from the very beginning.